Okay, I'm here with Peggy, and she is setting up traps for our trap neuter return program. So Peggy, what do you do to start out with the traps? Um, I make sure the traps are clean. I put masking tape on top with the owner's name. Since these cats don't have names, every time we catch one, we'll number them. So it'll be Miller 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I do a fold over on the edge of the tape so that when I have to move this cat to a clean cat, I can easily rip this off and move it to the clean cage when the cat moves. Then I put a cover inside for the trap cover. Now that we're at sight, I'm putting a little bit of food on this end, which is the end with the trip plate. I'm putting a little bit of food down here over the trip plate doing a little juice back there so it'll lead them in because they'll go in from that end of the trap. And then the very, very important thing is make sure you latch that trap so that when you get a cat in there, it can't get out. All right, and so then repeat 50 times. <laughs> to set the trap, we've got it locked in the back. To set the trap, you push in on the top, pull up, then there's a little lever right here, right there, and you pull it up and that holds the trap open. Then you take a cover, kind of fold it here so that when the trap snaps shut, the cover goes down over it and you're ready to go. Does somebody want in? You guys are so hungry. Who's the first to eat? Now they're like, we're, gonna, we're not going to do it because you're videotaping. That's right. Oh, hold on. So what happens if you get two in the trap? Um, you can use the isolator to move them from one trap to the other. Okay. A good thing to do if you have the opportunity is prior to trapping, take the traps, leave them open and feed for a couple of days in the traps so that the cats are used to it. These cats are so tame that I don't think it's going to be an issue, but if you have really wild ones, sometimes I'll do that just to get them used to having a trap around. I think you got one. First baby. All right, let's just start setting them all out and then we'll, the van will be empty and we can load them back in as we trap them. stay until their appointment Tuesday morning and today's Sunday and they can get spay. We've got um, about 28, 29 in here and um, we have about how many cages left? I can't remember. We have 19 traps 19, left. 19 traps left. So sometimes you are over aggressive and catch two in one. So we're in the van with all the windows and doors closed. Oh, isn't that sweet? Look. Is that your baby? Yeah. You got a bad eye. Number 12 has a bad eye. So okay. I stick that in like a fork Okay. through the cage.
baby. Good kitty. Good job. <laughs> All right. The main thing is be really careful with them in the van because they can't get out, but they can get loose in the van. And I have had them get loose in the van and yikes, that's no fun trying to catch it in the van. <laughs> Okay, it's feeding time for all the kitties. Okay, today is day two of trapping at the Cross Keys project. And so far we have, I think eight this morning. Um, we've got nine additional traps out and we're hoping that throughout the day they will come in. We have seen about four cats that we haven't trapped, but that means there's probably eight. their numbers a little bit for today. almost eight o'clock on Tuesday and we are now unloading the cats that were spay and neutered to the oak shade barn and there's Peggy and Tracy and they are feeding the cats tonight so they're getting a little meal after being spay or neutered and then they'll go to bed tonight we've got all of these blankets that we're going to be putting on them to make sure they stay warm and toasty tonight. So this is the big day guys. We're ready to do some releasing these kitties and Peggy is going to start releasing the first few. Ooh, the drum roll. <laughs> there we go. 